Welcome back YouTube to my channel of an everyday life of an SP. If you're new, I'm SP. I'm all about creating mental health and awareness and sharing my life stories with autism and mental health along with taking you on a journey with what it's like for me with fun and games as, as well as other bits and pieces. So if you're into any of this and more that I bring out, feel free to subscribe on the bottom right hand corner of the screen and turn on the notification bell because I hope to upload at least twice a week or even three times a week scheduled to pen. So today, as you're aware, while I've been away, I've been just trying to think what to share with you all. So this one's going to be a quick, hopefully, YouTuber's honesty tag video that I've seen floating around on YouTube. And this one has been thought, well thought of by Mel Thompson, who created this tag. So I'll link her channel and video to that, so that if you want to join on the bandwagon for that, feel free to do so. So, um, as you're aware, this one's going to be an honesty tag in the beauty section I have done a bit of of a haul and stuff you may have seen in the past I'm hoping maybe since it's all about health and awareness and stuff maybe to bring more out in the near future of beauty hauls or what have you if you want to see some of these let me know in the comment section below as well and as well as in saying this just to shout out to you guys of what would you like to see as future videos do you want more of me advocating for you guys based on my Last story with mental health and autism or do you want me to go out and about it and show you stuff like I have been with the, you know, travel with me or whatever. Be much appreciated also. So the very first question is basically, have you ever tried a product and didn't like it and decided not to review it? In all honesty, we all have done this and I guess for me, I have done a few, you know, products in the past by like testing some. Um, usually trying to go all the natural of certain you know makeup versus you know beauty products as well even though as I said in one of my videos over when I did a beauty haul or what have you that some of them do irritate my skin so I'm still in the process of just looking for what it may be that does actually suit my skin tone and everything else. Number two products you you use alone but don't show or use alone. Yes, I have a few products that I use and I don't show online, basically, even though, like I said, in the first one, I'm a trialing process of certain branding, even though some brands are better than others based on their cost quality versus, you know, where they're from and whatnot, and just some of the ingredients that may affect my skin, as you know, that at the age of 30 onwards, that most of us will lose our skin elasticity as well as the collagen so we need to find ways to you know replenish that skin of ours so yes i have and i'm guessing maybe for that at the moment i'm using basically some of the nivea versus the garnier range versus also some of the products that are at lush and you may have seen me tried some of those or when you may not have or showing them to you i suggest that somewhere in one of my playlist things will have that and i'll list it in the archive above me Number three, products you want but can't buy because you don't support the brand. There are some products that I don't support because as you know that I'm an animal lover, even though when people think, Ugh, if you're an animal lover, why do you eat meat, for instance? I get a backlash of that, like many people might and when they do it. So there has been some products that I would like to try even though I have realized that, you know, most of them are animal tested and whatnot and sometimes we just need to be careful what we put. Number four is, do you have any block words on your channel? Yes, I do. I am humbly apologizing for some people that may, you know, hate that because I'm trying to keep it as, you know, family friendly as well as just making sure that when I take that time of day of doing it, that we can respect one another because I want us to respect one another and our differences of opinions, different ways of living versus everything else because I'm trying, as I said in one of my videos, be as inclusive as possible with people from all walks of life. Number five, do you delete any comments on your channel and if so, why? I, at this moment of time, have been in the last year and a half been monitoring my comments because the reason being is when I first started, before I was on my downtown load, there was a certain group of people that was really attacking me, especially in my past life that was attacking me and whatnot, so to speak. And I thought, then, you know, leave the dust behind me, so to speak, or leave the past behind me. 
they don't deserve to be in my life they don't deserve to be on my channel for a reason because you know they're the ones that want attention seeking as we know that there are many trolls around or many bullies as is and we want to try and keep it you know clean as possible as they say as well as you know being a free friendly environment as much as possible and in saying there's also basically we don't need that hate and everything from others so we just should be able to do what we feel is right for us six do you block people most of my social media is be it through youtube facebook instagram twitter wherever i may be found yes they're bound to be people that are blocked they're blocked for a reason and they should stay there because then everybody keeps reminding oh they deserve second chance though don't they i'm like yes they do but some of the chances i've been giving a long time ago since people do trust me do it over and over again of similar things or they say some things that i don't want to hear about and that sometimes you know we need to keep our mental health in check as well as our physical health i believe this is just how i look at it so number seven have you ever lied about a product to stay on good terms with the brand as i said before i haven't done many beauty reviews but i'm thinking maybe in the near future if you want me to try out any makeup any skincare anything like that please let me know in the description box below or comment section and i'll try my hardest to find some of the ones that you may want me to try or I'll find some that may tickle my fancy to try and review and see how I feel about them of the popular brands out there even though you know there's a lot to choose from nowadays I, have you ever, ever initially liked the product when you used it and then changed to it or hate it to let the audience know I have tried my very darn hardest, as you know, to be open and honest and transparent as much as possible for you guys, regardless of what it may be, you know, and I'm saying this, that basically we need to be aware of what goes down regardless, I believe. So in some ways, I have tried to be as honest as, you know, possible as said before, but, you know, there hasn't been many products I have tried to like or dislike at this point of time. But as they say, trial and error, if they say. Number nine, is there any influencers that you don't trust and have so, who are they? Well, as we know, basically, there are influencers versus, you know, entrepreneurs. You know, um, there has been some backlash about James Charles, obviously, and also some other people. I like, there's another one I think Manu I've been watching a little bit of. It's a bit questionable. As well as some other influencer I've been watching. I can't remember that. His name, I'm not trying to be sexist, even if you're thinking I'm just picking out all the males, but if you think I'm trying to output, outdo with the females, I can't think of any females at this point of time, the influences that I don't trust. And number 10 for the question is basically, is, is there any influences that you trust? And if so, who are they? I have been looking into basically Lily Singh, I've been looking at Laura DIY, I've been looking at basically Zoe Sag, um, yes, some other ones I can think of, but those are the ones I can think of right now of the influencers slash entrepreneurs, you could call them, because obviously, you know, some YouTubers call themselves entrepreneurs more than influencers, some vice versa. Even though we all have a different title on YouTube, you know, be it if we're a content creator, music creator, whatever it may be, we will have a different role for different things on YouTube, be it whatever it may be. So, you know, it's best to just roll. Okay, 11. Secret tips of product applications you don't show while on, on the camera. Again. As you know, I haven't done that many beauty reviews or what have you. So therefore, basically, it's like I am going to hope in the near future. Again, as I keep saying, even if I sound repetitive, I'm so sorry for this, that I'm going to hope to do maybe more of it later on in the future. If you want to see me doing some beauty hauls versus, you know, clothing hauls or whatever. Since I'm into a bit of animals versus beauty, health and everything else, you know, that's in between that. 12. Have you ever shared one product but we're actually using another? Let's be real, I have. Um, like at one stage when I was showing one of the videos, like at the time, again it was trial and error, 
when I was doing these product reviews or beauty reviews of the haul that I did a few months back or even a few moons ago now while I was on starting my channel so basically yeah I 13 have you ever not disclosed a sponsorship okay again I haven't yet I haven't had many sponsors coming at me saying Kieran please review this product that and the other put us into your channel as a shout out as a sponsorship for your video and whatnot I haven't had that many but I have had a few requests on Instagram in the past that I'm hoping to share with you all once I can afford to for this year of mental health and awareness of something I want to wear and actually show the cause for because as you know I'm strongly all about mental health as well as your well-being health and well-being and whatnot number 14 have you had a bad interaction with a brain who hasn't basically had a bad interaction with the brain be it physically or just on the screen you know when you're writing letters or emails or whatever to them but um, for me there has been for some branding that I've been trying out bad interaction with skin it comes up in a you know big rash and everything else and whatnot it could be me over doing my skincare routine who knows it could be an electric reaction to the actual product itself that I've tried in the press and stuff especially the ones that I haven't even showed on the screen 15 have you ever bandwagon with other people's thoughts on particular products let's be real some of us may have but if you're asking me I haven't done so because I feel in my own beliefs that I've been trying to be real and authentic to you guys and just doing some quick homework research based on everyday topics be it whatever it may be especially you know advocating educating you have to do the research first so I try to quickly do the research as much as possible here say before I bring it out to you guys anyway so I try to be as real and as honest to you so no I haven't been trying to be jumping on the bandwagon trying to say word for word what the other people who have maybe reviewed a product or some form of you know clothing line or what have you for for my benefit or my gain here so you could say okay number 16 is things other creators do that gets on your nerves there's, there's a few things that get on my nerves with some creators you know some can be so out there to the point that the you know showing off kind of thing to the point that it feels like they're gloating and stuff Sometimes also it's just some of the drama that you may have seen or heard about, be it regardless who it may be from, be it you know through James Charles, be it through whatever we may have heard in the past and you know whatnot. Another thing that gets on my nerves for some creators is just that some of, some of the language that comes out, some of it that yeah, to the point that you know they get a bit you know. I know sometimes they think they're cool and have trying to swear swear every time in their videos and whatnot, and they don't wish to blur it bleep it out or whatever but what there's the point that I like I see in real life also with some people can be you know fake to the point that you just don't want to be near them especially when it comes down to that part another thing that annoys me with some creators is basically that some may want to whinge all the time or they want to talk about you know certain things that isn't beneficial to help you to grow as a creator of any kind be it mental health be it you know beauty be it whatever niche you're trying to target i believe also and, and saying that basically that we need to be just kinder to ourselves and others around us and be more respectful i believe as well anyway that's all i can think of to be honest with you with these the 15 16 questions that were thrown out there so if you like this Best to like comment below feel free to also comment below as i said before basically earlier if you wish for me to do any beauty hauls in the near future fashion hauls or whatever or whatever other content you can think of that you really want to see again if you've been watching it for a while or i knew and just seen touch glimpses of what i'm all about then feel free to actually let me know in the comment section because feedback is most important here i believe as well as saying this basically if you want to join do this honesty tag that i did beauty edition or whatever you want to call this and you are a health and beauty kind of channel you know the questions should be listed in the description below as well so that you can follow through to what I was reading from and if saying this it'd be good to get to know one of each other regardless what it may be 
as well. Insane is also so stuffy kettle so that you can follow me on my social media as it comes up and insane is also insane that again is basically I've got a Patreon account right now that I've started up a few months ago now and Patreon for anyone that is interested to know about it is basically a small kind of website that helps content creators, musicians and the works who is doing stuff for you guys on YouTube that may need the extra funding and support through that through your guys giving to us to give back to you in any way shape or form basically it has a list of tiers of what you can get from us to give back to you as a thank you and whatnot and also in this also i'm hoping to create some more stuff on my merch site if you haven't seen my merch site i will hopefully be listed on the screen as well as in the description box below so if you want to help me in some ways to figure out of a new design also maybe to as a gift to you guys that are interested that may have bought some of my products online feel free to comment them below of maybe what you want to see but you remember it's mental health and autism related at the moment but if you want me to try and create something based on my everyday sayings what i say my everyday quotes that you may like or what have you let me know hit me up sort of thing in the description or shall we say in the comment section below as well and in saying this for this Patreon account, as I said before, that I'm hoping to give back to you guys as much as I can, regardless of what it may be. And like, hopefully I'm saying this, that in the near future, I want to build up a website or something to give back to you guys with all the resources that you may need. Because just remember, I'm just from New Zealand and I want to try and make a difference in New Zealand, obviously, in the autism community, especially because obviously, as I said before in one of my videos about efficacy in New Zealand, there's lack of advocates, like, you know, wanting to support us or what have you. So I'm hoping I can play my part regardless, even if, you know, many people think, oh, what does she do besides YouTube advocating or whatever, but I'm all about trying to support you guys as much as possible. So enough for the day guys, thanks for thanks for watching. Well as I'm saying this, that as I said I created a book three years ago, I know it might be old now, but if you want to see a part two, as I said, I'm just still trying to pan it out right now of the second part, how I'm gonna cover it. If there's any topics that I may have missed on the first part, if anybody's seen the book, feel free to also comment that below also. And if you want to participate in maybe one of the books, like as I said a few years ago if you want to be on the bandwagon writing your short stories about what your life is like as an autistic you know let me know as well as in saying this i'm still looking for people to collab with me just as a quick blurb the reason being why i'm trying to invite you all to the channel if you want to feel safe and about it and raise a, this is all about raising awareness inclusivity about you guys you know of what you go through on a daily be it through your mental health your general health you've got chronic illnesses such as you know ms and everything else so that people can understand you more i'm hoping that my channel will be a safe haven for you guys regardless because i'm trying to branch it out for you guys to come on if you are willing to do so so if you are please hit me up say uh, through here or on my facebook or even if you want to i do have a discord account which i keep forgetting to put in the description which i humbly apologize if you want to that discord chat name of mine uh, will be in the description hopefully this time around so that you can hit me up there in private and just say hey SB, i would like to join this collab that you mentioned so no further ado guys thanks for supporting thanks for watching do what love love it do until next time i'll see you again soon ciao for now